Now we're gonna look at some of the theorems about sufficient condition or sufficient and necessary conditions for convergence almost surely of a random variable xn to zero. Uh, so the first one is uh, if is this one. So uh, if the summation of uh, expectedly of absolute of xn to the power s is so pos positive moments of this. The, the random variable xn, uh, some summing of those things is finite for all s uh, greater than zero. It doesn't have to be integer. It could be any real number greater than zero. Then the xn converts to zero almost surely. Uh, so uh, to prove that, it's 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 easy to see that uh, the integral. Ex remember, expectation is integral. Summation is integral. And what we are doing is that we're integrating over a positive function. And so we can apply the Fubini theorem to exchange, uh, to move the expectation out of the summation. So move the summation into the, into the expectation, uh, which tells us, so the condition tells us that this is finite. Um, and so this integral of the summation is finite by the, by the theorem we just proved here. Which tells us that summation of the xn to the power s is finite almost surely, uh, and this is so. A summation is finite almost surely. This is suggests of you know series. We know the elements of the series xn to the power s must converge to zero almost surely, and that's for all um, omega. Uh, this is true for omega, so this is true for all omega. Uh, so since s is positive, uh, then we can remove the s, and that that proves that xn converges to x almost surely. The next one uh, is uh, and the next one for proving xn to converge to zero almost surely. A sufficient condition for that is uh, the summation of uh, probability of xn greater greater than epsilon. Is finite for all epsilon greater than zero, then xn converges zero almost surely. Uh, so I'll present two ways of uh, proving this one. Uh, the first way of proving this, this theorem uh, is using Borel Cantelli lemma. As you can see, this is uh, this is uh, uh, when you see this condition, summation of uh, probability of some sequence of events is finite. If the first thing you, you can think of is Borel Cantelli lemma, and and your direction is actually right, so let's prove that. Uh, so this is so given the condition that epsilon is greater than zero, we can put the epsilon to be one over k uh, for any positive k. So by the Borel Cantelli lemma, we know that summation of this is finite, which implies that x n epsilon of x n is greater than one over k. Uh, uh, infinite often has probability zero, or equivalently, x absolute of x n is less than or equal to one over k, eventually all, uh, with probability one. Or uh, another way of in interpreting the same set of events is that x absolute of x n is greater than one over k, occurs finite finite number of times with probability one. Uh, the set that because the set of omega that that occurs infinitely often has probability zero, so the, so this event occurs finite many times with probability one. And that tells us that uh, because this x absolute of xn greater than one over k occurs finitely many times with probability zero with probability one. Uh, which tells us that the limb soup of the xn greater than one one over k is actually zero, uh, with all positive k. Uh, so the set of uh, limb soup of xn greater than one over k, uh, and and well, so the set this set this event set limb soup of x absolute of xn greater than one over k, which uh, enlarges as k increases, and converges to Lin sub of xn greater than zero. Uh, so by the continuity from below, uh, the property of, of of a property measure, 
we know that uh, the probability of limb of x n greater than one over k, will uh, which is uh, has a probability zero, which will converge to the limb soup of x n greater than zero, uh, and as k goes to uh, infinity, therefore the probability of x probability of limb of x n greater than zero has probability zero, uh, and that implies x n converge to zero almost surely. The second way of proving that is um, uh, similar, but uh, we're going to use uh, integrable. In integrability implies finite almost surely. Uh, <clears throat> so this one, this is a known condition, is uh, is actually equivalent to summation of uh, expected value of indicator of function of absolute value x n greater than one over k, which is finite, uh, because what we are in, in integrating is is positive. Then we apply. We can apply uh, the Fabian uh, Fubini theorem uh, and move the expectation uh, outside, which tells us that the summation of the integrated function here is finite almost surely, uh, which which implies that one over uh, integrated function of x n absolute x n greater than one over k goes to zero almost surely, as n goes to infinity, or equivalently. The set of x absolute of x n greater than one over k occurs finite finite number of times with probability of one, and f until here we pretty much back to what we need to prove. The rest of the proof will be will be exactly the same as method one. What we have seen here, uh, we conclude the same uh, conclusion. X n absolute of x n greater than one over k occurs finite many, many times with probability of one, and the rest of that will be the same. And that will be proving uh, the the result using method two. Uh, the next one is uh, <clears throat> three equivalent conditions. So, x n converges to zero almost surely if and only if for every epsilon greater than zero we have the probability of sup of epsilon of x m m is greater than or equal to n greater than Epsilon goes to zero almost, uh, as, as n goes to infinity uh, for every epsilon. And uh, the second one, third one, is equivalent. Uh, so let's, before we prove that, let's see why it's equivalent. And I will, sh I will be only showing you why, because now I'm going to show you why this is equivalent. Uh, so let's assume this is, this is true. Then uh, <clears throat> You see here that the probability of sup of that is greater than epsilon goes to zero. Uh, this one uh, is taking the limit of probability of sup that goes to zero, and this is uh, positive. Uh, so this is uh, so here we have, we will be able to use the uh, the dominate the bounded sorry the dominate convergence theorem. The limit can move inside of the the probability, which is just an uh, integral of an indicator function, uh, and that will become the limb soup of that. So these two conditions is actually the same, and and the last one, the third one, is actually the same of the the first two as well. Because if you look at this one, this is what what is tells us the probability of limb soup of an x absolute of x n greater than zero has probability zero. Uh, so that means the limb soup is above the epsilon, which tells us, by the definition of limb soup, we know that there will be infinitely many xn is greater than epsilon, and that set of omega has probably zero. So that is the same as the absolute of xn greater than epsilon infinitely often has probably zero. So this, these three conditions is actually the same. So we only need to prove one. Let's prove the first one. Uh, so um, we're going to prove that in two directions. Uh, given, given that this is converged to 0, almost 0, we prove this lean super goes to 0, almost sure, surely. And the second direction is, given this is true, we want to prove xn converged to 0, almost surely. So before we do that, let's Analyze a little bit of uh, the behaviors of, of uh, the soup, uh, the convergence. So, to extend converge to zero almost surely uh, is 
so if an element omega uh, that that belongs to the set of x n does not converge to zero, then it is equivalent to uh, there exists an epsilon such that the limb soup of x n epsilon of x n is greater than epsilon. And to translate that to translate it into uh, uh, or um, another way or a set language, uh, the set of x n does not converge to zero. Uh, is this is equivalent to the set of uh, taking a union of all uh, epsilon belong uh, from the from the positive rational numbers, and that the limb of x n is greater than epsilon. And that is also equivalent to uh, taking the union of epsilon belongs to rational number, positive rational numbers, and taking the uh, the intersection of the set of soup of x n x m, where m is greater than or equal to n, uh, so the soup is greater than epsilon. Uh, as you can see, um, as n goes to bigger and bigger this set is, is decreasing. It becomes smaller and smaller. So if we, if we let a, a epsilon n to be, uh, to be this set, the set of sub mn, uh, sub, uh, sub of xm, epsilon of xm, uh, greater than epsilon, if we let this to be a, a epsilon n, so this is decreases as n goes to infinity, as I just mentioned, and this decreases to the intersection of a epsilon n, intersection of all n. So by the probability measure of uh, continuity from above, uh, we have the uh, probability of a epsilon n uh, converges to the probability of intersection of a epsilon n over all n. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna use this this condition uh, to to prove our uh, conclusion. Uh, so given that uh, the probability of x n does not converge uh, as probability zero, which is the complement of x n converge to zero almost surely, uh, since the the set of x n does not converge uh, contains the the set of uh, intersection of a epsilon n over all n uh, for any epsilon belongs to the rational number positive rational number and uh, and because this is has probability zero then this set has probability zero so this has a probability zero and by what we just just saw in here the probability of a n or epsilon n will converge to the probability of intersection of a n epsilon n and that is, is, is zero, uh, and it's true for all epsilon greater than zero, and that proves our, our probability of a epsilon n, which is sub, sub of xn greater than to epsilon, uh, goes to zero for all epsilon greater than zero. So that proved the one direction. Uh, the other direction uh, is, is simple. Uh, so given that the prob probability of sub uh, a, a epsilon n goes to zero, which is probably the sub of x, epsilon of x n greater than epsilon goes to zero, uh, and zero is uh, and and that is and uh, because a epsilon n is is a decreasing subset, a decreasing set, uh, and and convert, and that decreasing set goes down to the intersection of a n. Uh, a, a epsilon n section of O n, so that that tells us that this is equal to zero. In probability of intersection of a epsilon n over O n is zero, as n goes to, uh, well, uh, as this n goes to infinity. Uh, and and then we have that uh, the probability of uh, x n does not converge is. Uh, it's less than or equal to uh, the summation of this. This is coming from here. We are summing over all epsilon uh, from taking from rational numbers and summing over those things, and that is just zero uh, because this one 
uh, A0. And as n goes to infinity, so that proves the uh, probability of probability of xn does not converge at zero, and that proves the probability of xn converges to zero almost surely. And that's uh, that's it, everyone. Uh, hope you like it. Bye.